Hi, I'm Kat Burlow. I was an intern with the Night Skies program in 2019, and now I work with the National Park Service as a park guide, and I get to help lead the Night Skies program out here. My name is Andrea Minot. I was an intern at Mount Rainier National Park in the Night Skies program last summer, and this summer I am a park ranger. Uh, my name is Katie Copeland. I am the Night Skies intern this summer for 2022, and I am really hoping to come back next summer as well. During my internship in 2019, uh, there was a uh, woman who came up to me, probably in her 40s or 50s, and we were, you know, showing things through the telescope, talking about the dark night sky. It was a beautiful, clear, dark night, no moon. You could see everything. And she came up to me and she was like, I've waited 40 years to see the Milky Way in my life. And I came here just so I could see the Milky Way. And I want to thank you so much for giving me that opportunity. And I was floored. I think for anyone participating in the night sky program, I hope that they take home sort of an understanding that learning doesn't have to always happen in a structured environment. I would hope that people can walk away with an understanding that learning can, can be fun. Like Saturn, when you can see like Saturn's rings for the first time, um, kids really, really are into that. And especially adults too, who have seen like pictures of it their whole lives. But when you look at it through a telescope, it just feels so much more different. Like it's really out there. We are losing a lot of our dark night skies with urban development and you know cities growing and growing. Um, a lot of our places where we can truly experience a dark night sky are diminishing. And we want people to be able to connect not only with the night sky itself, but with um, you know, generations past of folks who have been able to look up at the night sky and see the Milky Way and the constellations. I really like being able to share that kind of knowledge with people that some of us here think that we would probably like take for granted a lot of the time. But then when I tell someone something or they see the Milky Way for the first time, or they see a shooting star across the sky for the first time, and there's so many people there nowadays, and there's this big like outburst from the audience, like the oohs and ahs, um, when they see something really cool is just is an awesome experience every time. I would really hope that the awe-inspiring feeling that people see when they look at a dark night sky will help encourage them to preserve and protect dark night skies. It's really important for young people to participate in the night sky program, uh, just to have that sense of wonder and appreciation instilled at a young age so that as they grow up, that's something that maybe they want to explore more and learn about more or invest in and be able to have an appreciation for for years to come. And then hopefully one day they bring their kids to programs and just continue that generational appreciation for the dark night skies.